This is your life. It's your life. And it's your body. You have to live in it. So when you just do some random thing and you end up with shitty results, great, you lost 100 pounds, but you look like trash. Like, that's, that's the, the, the decision you made from not paying attention. Sorry, I was having a long talk in the Blake Diet Group about losing weight improperly, fat loss, muscle loss, bone loss, skin surgery. So anyway, what's up guys? It is M&M sandwich, chocolate peanut butter M&M sandwich time. What's up guys? It's chocolate peanut butter M&M sandwiches time. Let's go. Do I get hungry throughout the day? No. I actually teach people how to enjoy massive meals while no longer getting hungry, maximizing fat loss, minimizing muscle and bone loss with the foods they enjoy while getting the proper nutrients. That's what I teach. And if you want to be part of that or check that out, there's an FAQ. That's the link. I know you can't click a link here, but that's the link so you can see it. You go to the link in my bio. We got M&M's. I got an M&M's bow tie. Check that out. Yeah. Matching bow tie. That's what's up. I gotta get a better shot of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. And there's, yeah, there's a ton, there's a ton of factors. Bon Appetit, thank you. Oh, we also got, I'm sorry, we got Halo Top Candy Bar and Enlightened Red Velvet. I want to try the, uh, the candy bar first. We got enough people saying if it drips, if it drips, if it drips. Catfish, you can watch me on as many streams as you want. I've had this bow tie for almost a year, never worn it. Oh, you know what I should put on these? I didn't put any salt on these. I usually put salt on my sweet sandwiches. Salt to enhance the flavor. Salt on chocolate? Yes. The reason why chocolate covered pretzels. The reason why salted caramel. The reason why we love that stuff is because the salt enhances the flavor. Appreciate it, Joanne. I try to keep it sexy. I try to keep it sexy. So. Yeah, we got a bunch of M&M minis, chocolate peanut butter, macro friendly chocolate peanut butter, Italian rolls, not hot dog buns. Honestly, this makes the best armrest. I love the way this is just an armrest. When you go like... When you can drink out of your armrest, you know you're doing it right. You know what I'm saying? No protein? There's, um, how much protein do I say, guys? There's 198 grams of protein. 
If you consider 200 grams of protein, no protein, then yes, there's no protein. I actually, um, I actually microwaved it. I, I put it in for a minute. I put these two in for like, it depends how long it's out. If you just take it out, you might want to even do like close to two minutes. We got this. Um, I'm going to give this a second shot. How is it? Check that out. I gotta say. I'm still disappointed in Reese's for this. What's up, fasting bastard? I'm still disappointed. I expected more. You're trying to hate, but I really help people. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. A lot of people come in here, a lot of people come in here haters, and then they stay for, um, for more. It's a good feeling to convert somebody. Thank you, Jenna. Those are the best comments when somebody's like, yeah, man, I was trying to hate kind of got used to you. Then I realized what you're doing is right. And you, the people who are hating on a guy or a girl who've helped people lose thousands and thousands of pounds collectively. Literally thousands and thousands of pounds collector collectively. Um, how are you gonna get mad at that? <laughs> Thank you, India. Oh, as I was saying, Pansy, I started a trend on Instagram. If you, I do eat like this every night, and I did make this in my, uh, the Blake Diet stream, so you should join up if you want to be able to enjoy food again, enjoy carbs. And lose fat at the same time. If you join up, you will not be disappointed at all. And then... Not only will you not be disappointed, if you did research on other intermittent fasting programs, if you do join up, most people are like, damn. Hmm. Yes, people, people will still hate on the friggin... On the Dr. Oz post on uh, on Dr. Oz's YouTube where they posted the episode, which is on my Insta story. It's on my Facebook. Um, I posted it to the Blake201 Facebook. You still have like keto people be like, it's all about insulin. The calories don't matter. Mm -hmm. 
calories don't matter. It's about insulin. Mm. Yes, you are, Pansy. You're in the group. So, the funny thing is, with keto people, it's all about the insulin, right? It's all about the insulin. With intermittent fasting people, it's all about not breaking your fast. It's all about people who are in denial about calories. Thank you, Ed. These are very stale hot dog buns. <laughs> You're drinking Crown Royale? That's a joke. That's a joke. Stale hot dog. These are not hot dog buns. Ed's a member of a Blake diet. <laughs> Yo, all they did with the insulin, look, everybody who, who talks about not breaking your fast, not breaking your fast, all that came from was everybody basically recycled friggin' Martin Birkin's Lean Gains program. None of these intermittent fasting programs that people even think for themselves, they just copied everybody else. A lot of big programs just started copying everybody else. Rather than using their own head, their own testing, their own science, and creating their own program. It's just some convoluted version of some either one other person's program or a few other people's programs put together. And as far as the insulin thing... All that comes from mm -hmm. my yeah my sodium levels, <clears throat> my blood pressure. Um, they took everything. Is Doctor Jason Fung saying it's not about the calories? You you have people who can't lose weight. It's not about the calories. It's about insulin. It's like look, buddy. If you're too much of a pussy, if you are too much of a fucking vagina to eat carbs, then fine. <clears throat> but for the rest of us, we like carbs. <clears throat> Copy-paste programs, yeah. I mean, I commend him. I a hundred percent disagree with with a lot of the stuff, but I commend him for getting his program copied by like everybody out there. But unfortunately, him getting his pro him getting his program copied for everybody out there is helping me because I totally disagree with a lot of the stuff, and I have better principles and a better program. So that does help me. But I do get a lot of questions, which I know where they came from, and I'm just like, ah, oh, here we go again with this. Um, it always starts with just one question. Just one question. Perfect. You don't... You don't have just one question. Because if you're asking that question, you have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. No offense. If you're asking that question, you don't understand anything at all. <laughs> and that's why I don't like doing the just one questions. Hmm. 
Let me come up with a comparison. How do I stay so fit and eat like this? This is what I teach on the BlakeDiet.com. You wish you found me before you are warped into that other program? Hey, better late than never. Oh, Jenny, welcome to the Blake Diet. All right, that's like, let me, let me come up with a, a comparison. It's saying, it's like, hey, just one question. Do UFOs, can they recharge at regular gas stations? Or do they have to take their flying saucers to, um, to Tesla recharge gas stations? And you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? That, that's, like, that's like all the just one questions. It's like there's... Now somebody's going to be like, there's, there are UFOs. There are really UFOs. <laughs> well, they wouldn't let they let me pick up my shirt, but they wouldn't let me take my shirt off. So, anyhow, my ingredients are for the Blake Diet members only. Mm. Just one question. If I do this, will I lose weight? There's three types of weight loss. So which weight are you looking to lose? What are the three types of weight loss? That's another question. So the thing is, you may have just one question, you may have just one question and want to take that answer to be on your merry little way, however, as a professional, me answering just one question, knowing that you are clueless as to everything else, I can't in good conscience answer that. Hmm. Even if it is a yes or no answer. If I'm intermittent fasting, can, can I chew gum? Can I breathe? Can I ride a bicycle? Or will riding a bicycle break my fast? Will walking break my fast? Am I allowed to have alcohol? Oh, you're the weed challenge Peter Burrio guy? Greetings, Germany. I'm going to need you to send me a video of you eating actually a decent amount of food. Before you waste my time. Because it's very clear you want to be in an Instagram video, which you will not be in if you lose. Nobody will ever know the challenge happened if you lose. This candy bar ice cream is good. 
you can join my diet from any country. The only the only countries who can't join the Blake diet are countries which cannot make online purchases due to certain sanctions, and that comes from um, places in the Middle East. And the only way they could get around that is with a prepaid credit card, which they do exist for those reasons, and as well as a prepaid credit card they, if they have a friend with an American PayPal account or can set up a, a PayPal account. Mm. So are you guys, forget flavors, are you guys enlightened fans, Halo Top fans or enlightened fans? Which fan? Really better close up of a sandwich. Hell yeah. Oh, you guys get the side view. Different flavors, Jennifer. You only get Halo. Yes. The diet works if you make two different things and fit them into your nutrients. People ask me that question. They're like, so would this work if you made like half dessert and like half dinner like type foods? No. I just get fat as shit and probably fall over. <laughs> you haven't seen Enlightened yet? Enlighten Enlighten's gotta gotta step their game up and move out to more places. I got a lot of people complaining that they haven't gotten enlightened yet and oh man, check that out. <sighs> Enlightened has some, some banging flavors. So does Halo, but Halo doesn't have all the banging flavors that Enlightened has. Some are different. Some are competitive, and Jenny and I have argued on... There's times we've, we've done flavor for flavor. We were going flavor for flavor, Enlightened versus Halo. And Jenny and I were arguing on whose is better. But I feel like everyone should have a choice. What are you doing? You can't eat all of them. This is a diet. This is a weight loss meal, guys. This is just a weight loss meal. So thank you for joining if you're new. Here's the perfect. Boudin? No, I've never heard of it, Pansy. These are not challenges. These are not challenges. I'm sorry. You're on the wrong channel. And I've eaten plenty of souvlaki. Mm -hmm. I was the first one doing this and making these videos and anybody who you see making these videos was inspired by me. Some of them say it in their profile. Some of them just copied me and pretend they didn't. But yes, I was the first one making these videos. If it looks like the Blake diet, whether they say it or not, it's the Blake diet.
What's the point of doing this? This is a diet. This is a weight loss meal. <laughs> Boo damn. For northerners. Boo damn. You're not talking about pout Putin? Putin? <laughs> Thank you, John. To lose weight and stay healthy. At what age will I stop enjoying massive meals and staying healthy? Um, why would I stop enjoying massive meals? That's another thing. People are like, how long can you do this for? Um, as long as you want to. Thank you, Etab. Yes. It's not, it's not in this area much, Pansy. What's up, Greg? What's up, Justin? Oh. It's more of a Canada thing. Um, Jenny actually has some of the sauce, but the cheese curds, we, um... I actually don't recommend one meal a day. My program is however many meals you want it to be. You can change it up however you want. My program is meant to fit your lifestyle. That does not mean eat in the middle of the night. That does not mean one meal a day. That does not mean you have to have these delicious chocolate peanut butter and M&M sandwiches. It's meant to fit your lifestyle, so I tell you how, and you take it and enjoy it the way you want to. Yeah, poutine is Canada, Canada Ian, Can Canada Ian. Got some poutine, eh? Appreciate it. <clears throat> no, it is... Look, my program is the most flexible version of intermittent fasting you're ever going to find ever, ever. <clears throat> it also has advanced tutorials... Which everyone's loving, including how to get drunk while losing fat. <clears throat> there you go, Greg. And you don't even have to use the recipes. I mean, you could, the recipes are a bonus, but. I do put some good stuff there. I do. Um, yeah, I'm dropping. I do need a bowl. I do need a bowl. However, um, what was I going to say? Rice, pork, seasoned sauce. Oh, never mind. We're talking about two different things. We're talking about two different things. I just, I just wipe it off the table. Appreciate everybody who enjoyed Dr. Oz. Yes. There is a how to get drunk while losing fat tutorial on my member's site. Because, let's be real people, we have lives. Or you want to have a life. You want to enjoy food. You want to eat like a fat ass. You want to be able to go out with your friends. You want to go to weddings and events and not worry about it. Go out drinking and friggin' end your night sloppily shoving pizza in your mouth. You want to do all that. Um, it should be flexible. If you want to go eat friggin' 
if you want to go eat friggin', I don't know, chicken and broccoli, then go do it. But if you want to eat crispy chicken and broccoli with cheese sauce and sweet potato mashed potatoes on bread, then do this. And if you do join up, I will save you from misery. It's a much happier place in here, guys. I just described your dinner for tonight, Steve. That's what's up. It's a good meal, right? It's a much happier place in the Blake Diet private group. Sure, there's some hiccups here and there with people trying to get things. Trying to get their groove or figure things out. But regardless, everyone's just loving the process together. With no like, how the fuck are you doing that? What is this for? <laughs> you you can post your giant pizza slices in there and everybody's just going to clap and nobody's going to say it's stupid or unhealthy or any of that stuff. <laughs> yes, there's a guy wearing a white mask in my window. I hired him. <laughs> No, but it's so true. Danielle, when you made your first giant pizza slice, you're doing a pizza dance, you're like, you're like, oh. If you would have, actually, you know what? You probably wouldn't get too many haters doing that, being a female. Probably not, but. The sodium intake on the pizza, yeah. But then he revealed my um my health. There is so much negativity on there. That's why I don't even fucking the Instagram live comments. I like to help people and read comments here and there, but it's a bunch of people asking questions that are answered in the FAQ on the website. It's a bunch of people saying, that's not healthy. Are you going to finish that? Blah, blah, And then there's usually some people who are like, you look like gay Drake. You look like you have pubes on your head. I hope you die. Blah, 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 blah. But then, but then a lot of you guys came here from there. So, I can't totally discount it because there are good people on IG Live and there are good people on Instagram or people who need help and will be in here. You're ahead of your time, Danielle. Or the times. <laughs> your husband told you you're not going to lose weight. <laughs> Why do people want me to die? Because I eat carbs and lose weight. And... They're too fucking stupid to actually see that that's what I teach. <laughs> and those people are carb deprived. <laughs> I don't care, man. They can wish death on me. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> Mm 
I gotta see what you were saying. Hold on. I gotta see what you were saying. You're the brownie. Oh, my friggin'. What the? That's so, it's when people, if you're, if you're doing a diet, if you're doing a diet where anybody's telling you, you can't have a certain food and continue to make progress, or you can't drink alcohol and continue to make progress, they're either dumb or lying to you. <laughs> That's it. And you need to go sign up for a different diet. Can I guide you? Yes, just click the link in my bio and join up. Click the link in my bio and join up. No, I believe, look, there are certain people. There are certain people who are nutritionists and sell diet, diet plans, right? Yes, everyone has a different metabolism. This is not, this is not how to eat. 4,000 calories and lose weight. It's how to enjoy food and life based on your own metabolism and nutritional goals to lose weight. Everybody's doing it with massive meals. No. There are plenty of nutritionists who don't know what the fuck they're doing. I've gotten some of them in here. They're like, I'm a nutritionist. Oh my God, here we go. Followed by some dumb shit, right? Um, people put their trust in these people to manage their nutrition. And while they may help you lose weight, if they only know how to do it without eating all the foods you enjoy, what the fuck's the point? What's the point? If you can't enjoy, if you just can't enjoy food, what's the point of doing a diet? Like, you're really going to eat at a Tupperware for the rest of your life? You're already dead. You are already dead. The person wishing death... That's the funniest part. The person who wishes death on me is already dead inside. That's the craziest part. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, they can come back to life, hopefully. I hope everybody does. Some of them won't be revived for many, many years. Well, while I'm out drinking with my friends and having a good time, and then friggin' back here taking shots with Jenny, sloppily eating pizza with my, or, or whatever foods with my eyes half open. That's living. So, it is death. What's the science behind my diet? Every diet is calories in versus out. I just teach how to do it in the most fucking enjoyable way possible. With the best hacks. Yeah, but once you're there, you're there. Like once you once you're doing keto for a while and you, you cut out water weight. Hmm. 
You eat carbs again, you're going to blow back up if you just go back to your normal carb intake. So now you're in a spot where you don't know how to do it. And you're living every day of your life in misery. Misery. Because if you go back to eating carbs the way you were, you're going to gain 10 pounds, 10 pounds back overnight. So you're kind of like dead and in your own personal prison. You kind of just died in the prison cell. No, it's, it's Halo. I got what you're saying. This was enlightened red velvet. Like a Michelin tire. The Michelin man. The Michelin man. Well, I wouldn't go to one meal if you'd like to. There's no point. <clears throat> but think about this. You guys have to eat every friggin' day. Well, you don't have to eat every day. But you kind of do. Um, if you're not enjoying your meals, that's a big part of your life as I drop chocolate onto my lap. It's a big part of your life you're missing out on. I mean, even if it's an hour out of every day of your life, making your meal, eating it, Whatever. For most people, there's more time involved. But if you're not enjoying it, and what the hell are you doing with your life? That was surprising, Jenny, right? Nobody nobody expected him to like co-sign on what I'm doing. Everybody's like, what the hell? He's a nice guy. Oh hello. Hello. The halal food. Oh, yeah. First of all, Greg, I'm to I totally forgot Jenny and I had halal the other night. <laughs> We're pretty smashed. We have hal halal and Wendy's. Why? <laughs> People have to vent their issues. Like, the smart people like ask me a question or message me and say, hey, I've been doing keto for a while and I just really miss carbs and seeing you eat them and enjoy them. Oh yeah. Oh Jenny, yo Greg, that night. I don't even know how Jenny was in the stream that night. And I wasn't much better.
Jenny wanted donuts from McDonald's. Who does not sell donuts, clearly. And then McDonald's was closed. We were, no, we were, I couldn't even, I, I couldn't even watch that stream. It was hard to watch because I was like, damn, I'm so drunk. That was probably one of my... Thank you, Jenny. That was probably one of my top five drunkest streams this year. I'll tell you what, guys. My top... My number one drunkest stream was New Year's Eve. It was January 1st, technically, um, in here. That was my number one drunkest dream this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were singing the Chili song? That, that, the New Year's January 1st dream, we were so drunk, I couldn't even, I had to delete it from YouTube. From start to finish. It started out with me showing how to make a lasagna pizza. And I'm holding the lasagna tray like this. And the whole friggin' lasagna fell out of the pan. Just onto the pizza. Splashed all over the place. All over Jenny's dress. And Jenny was so drunk that she's like, That looks really good. It was like 5 a.m. I lost my voice. I lost my voice for a week. Oh. Usually whenever I drink champagne... If I go out and I drink champagne, I will probably lose my voice. I just start screaming. I scream all night. Not going <coughs> I haven't done it in a while. But I lost my voice a lot of times. Jenny's birthday, which is coming up again. <clears throat> Jenny's birthday, I couldn't turn on the oven. I shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have been. But. No, John, the reason why they're asking me if I go to sleep is because they think you have to stay up or you get fat. Like you're like, I just ate a bunch of carbs and you just sit up like, no, I can't go to sleep. Can't go to sleep. Can't go to sleep. All right. <clears throat> Two more hours. That is actually a good thing. That is actually a good thing, Pansy. I did look that up myself um, recently. Some people don't like sleeping when full. I don't understand those people. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't mind sleeping on an empty stomach. 
but I love sleeping on a full stomach. Cadbury eggs, the only ones I know are the cream ones. Um, it's also Halloween, not Easter. Why, do you guys put out Easter eggs for Halloween? You've done keto and intermittent fasting and you lost weight? Join up. Join up and I'll help you out. What's up, Nermeen? Welcome back, Phil Am. We're on the last sandwich. Mmm. If you join up and you have personal questions, if you watch the tutorials, you don't know where you went wrong. You have the private Facebook group where all your questions get answered by me and by everybody else. And the members are very friendly and helpful. Thank you guys for being friendly and helpful. But then again, if somebody's a douche, if anybody becomes a douche in the group, they're just gonna, I'll just cancel their membership and they'll be out. But I don't see that happening at all. We're all on the same team. Last few bites. We'll get on the team. A kilogram a week? That's a little high. You can do it. You want to lose a kilogram of fat a week? That's a little bit different. And there's many variables involved in that as well. Mm. This is good. Yeah, no, I'm saying. You can lose two kilograms a week. You want to lose two kilograms of fat a week? Never happened. So, Oh, there's some, yeah, there's plenty of disrespectful people in here. People are trying to trash me in Farsi. Guess what? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So anyway, oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. Right. it's
it's my bedtime. Um, Instagram, thank you for jumping in. If you guys, um, if you guys want to join the Blake Diet, if you want to check out the FAQ, go to the link in my bio. The link in my bio, there's an FAQ. You can click the navigation bar. Have all your questions answered um, to know whether you want to join or not, but you do. And the Blake Diet fam, you guys all have a good one as well. Joanne, you have a good day. I know your day's just starting. And what time is it? What time is it in Malaysia? You guys all have a good one. Thank you. I want to say it's probably like 11 a.m. 11 a.m., Joanne? No, hold on. 10.30 a.m. I'm just guessing. You gonna answer? Alexa, what time is it in Malaysia? Hmm. I the time in Malaysia is 3.36 p.m. I wasn't even fucking close. All right. <laughs> anyway, you guys all have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Later.